Yo, what's good? What's good? Welcome to the Epic Entertainment Critics. I am Antoine. All right. Uh, I have not I have not uh, recorded in a while, in a couple weeks. But uh, all these trailers have been dropping left and right. And so I am going to do this Ghostbusters trailer that just dropped today. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a going to have a little discussion and a reaction discussion. But first, I got an intro. Okay, so Ghostbusters. Now, this is supposed to be a direct link to the original Ghostbusters, which I am a big fan of. That new, that other Ghostbusters, uh, the one with, uh, the one with, uh, um, what's her name? You know, the, the all the all female cast Ghostbusters, the Christian Wig and um, Melissa McCarthy. <coughs> Basically, they saying that didn't count. This is. This is the um, this is the real one, and this one counted. But uh, this is actually going to be the sequel. That is not. That's like basically didn't exist. They've been doing that with these movies. They trying to get rid of bad sequels by saying, "Hey, that's not the real sequel. This is the actual sequel." Like how they did with Halloween and all the other movies. Now, <clears throat> I'm excited for this because this is go- this has got the original people involved, Dan Aykroyd. Um, Ernie Hudson, um, the, the the guy who played um, God damn it, I forgot his name. The guy who played um, Egon, Egon died. Uh, uh, rest in peace. The guy who played Egon passed away, so Egon won't be in here. But I believe his daughter's gonna be in here. So um, and then Bill Mary, of course. So uh, let's see what we got, man. So Ghostbusters Afterlife. <laughs> Come on, y'all. <laughs> All right, Ghostbusters Afterlife. What are you doing here in Somerville anyway? Honestly, my mom won't say it. The stranger really thing broke. kid. And the only thing that's left in our name is this creepy old farmhouse our grandfather left us in the middle of nowhere. Why'd you bring me up here? Entertainment value. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> a town that isn't anywhere near a tectonic plate, that has no fault lines, no fracking, no loud music even, is shaking on a daily basis. Under the dining table now! Hey, remember that one summer we died under a table? I found this in my living room. Whoa, killer replica. A replica of what? A ghost trap? There hasn't been a ghost sighting in 30 years. New York in the 80s? It's like The Walking Dead. Your dad never mentioned this to you? It's just my mom. My grandfather died. My mom says we're just here to pick through the rubble of his life. Wait a minute. Who are you? A lot of throwbacks. Call it fate. Call it luck. Call it karma. That everything happens for a reason. Come on, darling. Anyway. It has a gunner seat? Okay, <laughs> that's Ghostbusters. Um, tell you what, I'm gonna tell you what, man. 
I don't know, man. It looked like they trying to uh, cash in on that Stranger Things um, money. And they went so far as to put one of the same actors in there. And um, I don't know. I don't know. I know they trying to push it to the next generation. I don't know if I'm cool with, oh, now it's all kids. I don't know, dude. And and then this whole thing about, okay, she don't know who her granddad is. I guess her granddad, her granddad must be uh, Egon. It don't look, it don't look like it's comedy at all. <laughs> it looked like they pushing the horror thriller kind of kid adventure, and it on it on its stand on its own. It looks interesting. It looks good, but as a Ghostbusters movie, I I, I don't. I don't feel it. Only thing I'm seeing from Ghostbusters that had the same feeling as the other movie is the it's the little callbacks. Oh, you know, they old uniforms. And I think that's BS that she didn't know who her granddad was. She didn't know he was a ghost. Like, that had to be one of the biggest events in this, in this universe. That had to be one of the biggest events. There's no way she wouldn't know. You know, uh, she's going to hear about it even if her um, even if her mom don't want to talk about it or whatever, um, I just don't. I just don't feel that. It's like, oh, 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 you didn't hear about this? This happened in the eighties. Uh, your mom didn't tell me. Oh no, she don't talk about that. Like, no, that's just like you don't have to talk about it. It's like that's like a huge event that changed their world and their universe. You know <clears throat> what happened on the first Ghostbusters and the second Ghostbusters? You know they had uh, almost got taken over by ghosts. Like the whole New York almost got taken over by ghosts. So. <laughs> yeah. It was okay, man. I'm uh I I was uh I was hoping for something else, but you know, Paul Rudd is like, you know, he's like the teacher that um that know about the Ghostbusters. They don't know because somebody never told them about the, the who what's this? And let me tell you another thing. <clears throat> the Ecto one, the car, the the, the Ghostbusters car. That's not going to work. If if it's just been sitting in the garage for that long, it's not going to work. I'm going to tell you that right now. Uh, y y your battery's going to die. So <laughs> unless they put a new battery in there and did some work on there, they didn't just get in there and start it up and start driving. Bullshit. Uh, my battery almost went dead after not driving my car for a couple months. So I already know. It's not going to just sit there and drive. So anyway, <laughs> it was an okay trailer. Um, it looks like they just trying to cash in on that uh, Stranger Things money, and I kind of like, and I thought they was gonna do something else with that. Um, I'm I'm not really in the mood to see a bunch of kids, but we'll see. It could be funny. It could be good. It don't look funny at all though. I don't see it. it look like like they trying to be like a serious horror thriller kind of thing. It's like, uh, damn. Now I'm thinking like, I'm thinking like, maybe the the other Ghostbusters had the right idea by making it funny, but we'll see. We'll see. Because <clears throat> uh, I believe originally Dan Aykroyd did not want to make a comedy, but it just ended up being a comedy. <laughs> All right. Um, that is my reaction and discussion for the Ghostbusters. Uh, I'll probably do a, a bigger discussion once I get my, my podcasting crew together. But today I just didn't have time. So I'm going to wrap up and move on to another trailer. Thanks for checking out the video. And, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel. And uh, give us a thumbs up if you like it. All right, I'm out. Peace.